Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avimax. My name is Max and today I'm going to be tying the Trip Saber. Uh, this is an Umpqua fly, a little soft tackle, kind of caddis, uh, a tractor, stone fly, bug. Uh, so you kind of get everything all at once, uh, which is nice when it comes to fooling fish. Size range, I would say probably from the 10 or maybe an 8 uh, to like a 14 or a 16. Um, to kind of keep it that attractor style. So this is a completed one in here. Uh, this is in the olive color. Uh, I'm going to do it in the natural, uh, probably the two best colors. You could maybe even get away with like a chartreuse one, uh, which would probably be nice. Uh, just less need for the rib uh, probably to make the chartreuse uh, pop because it's already a bright color. All right, so in the vise, I got a 3769. This is in the 10, um, and I have a fire hole tungsten bead in there. This is matte black. And uh, we're going to kind of leave this bead down by the, uh, the jaws uh, so that we can tie in our rubber legs for the antennae. So got some 50 nano silk. Uh, don't want to add too much bulk here. Uh, so that the bead will easily slide back over. I got some small black rubber legs. Uh, this is a Wopsy material and uh, I'm gonna have this on the thread and tie this down to the shank and keep it so that it doesn't slide around on you and make a wrap with my left hand just to keep everything going the right way and work it right up to behind the eye. Make sure I'm not pulling too much and slim everything down. Then we'll do a quick whip finish. Make sure I get my legs untrapped. Snip out my thread, slide our bead back up there. So now I'm going to take a little bit of zap, just add that on to the shank, and kind of gather it, slide it around with my thread, and tie that in, snip my tag out. and put that down. I'm gonna trim these out of here now to about the length of the body so they're out of my way while I'm tying the rest of the bug here. And now we're gonna do the tail, uh, which is also the rubber leg. I'm gonna work down to about the barb and start up at the, the hook point and another piece have that on my thread and tie that down right onto the top and if I can get them to lay down next to each other they're gonna splay evenly when you work it back. I don't want to put too much tension though and there you go pretty even there looking good These I can trim up now as well. Gather them together, make sure I'm not really pulling on them, just a little bit of tension and about the same length as the front guys there. Now I'm going to take just a standard piece of flashaboo and the pearl, uh, and this is going to be my rib. So I'm going to tie that down first, side closest to me, a little loose wrap grab it and work that back to my rubber legs and good now take a little bit of uh, some rabbit uh, and this is in the natural hair number 221 it's a nice mix of um, rabbit hair uh, and there's some synthetic pieces in there as well Start 
pretty slim at the top. Gradually start working up with my noodle. And a nice little noodle of hairs here on there. Work my thread wrap back to the legs. Make sure I'm covering up everything. And start building my body here. It's okay as you get starts loosening up on you. So we're gonna kind of build a little bit of bulk uh, with just some like loose pieces of rabbit so it kind of supports everything. Now I'm gonna do my rib. Same thing, just nice even segmentation. And we get one more in there and secure it down. Snip out my flash boo. I think the buggier you can make this, the better. So now I'm gonna take some of this hair and I'm just gonna lay it down on the shank and tie it in. And I'm gonna repeat that again on the bottom side. And it's it's nice, I don't have wax on the bench with me right now, uh, but it's nice when you can take just a little bit of wax and get the wax on the thread and just kind of stick it on there um, instead of having to like hold it down to the shank like I'm doing right here. So both methods work. One might be a little easier than the other and it might be a little more even, um, but like I said, it's really just the bugginess and helping support uh, this crystal flash when we put it on there. So, work that back just a little bit, and there you have it. So, acts as a little bit of a support for this crystal flash. So, Midge flash and the pearl, and this is gonna be right underneath our uh, soft tackle. Tie this. And so almost like you'd be tying a wing on, you're gonna kinda split them, and if you can get them to kinda just cover the entire top of the bug and spread them out a little bit. Looks good there. I'm gonna add one more little strand in here. Take a couple of more pieces and tie that in. Pull it back. Now they're kinda all on the top side of the bug there. So I'm gonna wait to trim these until I get the, the partridge in there. So I got a nice grade one partridge hide here from Hairline. Um, you know, you got just a mix of colors in here, uh, which is really nice about buying the whole skin. So you got some more gray down here. This is a little more of the brown. You know, as you go up, there's just more accent and highlights. Uh, so really up to you of what piece you wanna pick. Um, I kind of picked one right out of the middle here um, that kind of has like a brown, kind of like the natural, um, and then you're also looking at size and length of the feather. I'm going to pull off the bottom part of the feather here, so I just got a nice tip on it, just like that, might even be a little much. I'm gonna pull the feathers back and we're gonna tie in the tip of the partridge here. It's 
So a pair of hackle pliers always helps. A little shaky right now, so I hope I don't break the tip off here. Just real gentle. And right to the stem that we had already cleared. And I'll just make some wraps in front and behind. And I'll kind of pull everything back, make one more wrap. And now I'm gonna trim out the stem. And now I can really gather everything back. And pull it all back at once. Once we throw our call on there, it'll kind of help push these loose fibers or loose pieces of feather back. So I'm gonna work in my ice dub. This is the UV black. Um, if you had like a super fine um, in black or something, that would work as well. Uh, this is just a nice color scheme and obviously hit it with the UV light and get a little bit of the black show up there a little bit better. So same thing as before, I'm just going to make a little bit of a noodle. Don't want to overkill and I don't want to make it too tight. I kind of want it to be loose and buggy. So bring it up to the hook and make my collar just like that. See it kind of compresses all those fibers back and I'll do a little bit of zap on there. And a couple more wraps and I'll do a quick whip finish and then we'll trim things up a little bit. Red snipped out. So now I want these to be just about the length of my partridge. So I'm gonna gather them kind of all together in one hand. Make sure nothing's trapped in there. There, and they splay out in the bug. Real nice. Trim my tail just a little bit. And my antenna just a little bit. So I really like how this one turned out. Um, I might have put a little bit too much crystal flash in the top um, instead of kind of spreading it a little bit more to the sides. Um, I bet if I just kind of moved them around, kind of fall a little bit. Uh, but kind of just like that first half or top half of the fly is kind of where I want that crystal flash. But yeah, it looks a little better now. So, pretty clean, simple little bug. Definitely worth tying. Definitely worth having a couple different colors in your box. I would even go crazy and maybe tie one in like an orange uh, for that October caddis. Um, maybe more like a kind of that mallard yellow color uh, would be another good good option as well. But there you have it, the trip saver. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the pattern. Um, of course, give us a like if you did like the pattern. Um, the recipe uh, should be listed in the description. Uh, for all the materials and the goodies to tie this fly, visit adamax.com.